Hello everyone, it's uh, Brett here, Lionheart84. I've got another fruit tasting today, including one that I've never actually had before. Um, I've got, uh, I managed to uh, buy a couple of Tamarillos, which I have tasted before, but what interested me, as well as the traditional Tamarillo, which I've eaten before, which is the one that's slightly more readily available over here, I managed to get um, the sort of orange, version as well. Now I have no idea if it tastes exactly the same um, as a standard Tamarillo or what these two are going to be like. I've eaten uh, obviously Tamarillos before a few times or tree tomatoes but it has always been this one. So I thought we'd cut it open and have a look. You can see me uh, enjoying sitting in my kitchen jungle now. Slightly overwhelmed with uh, fruits fruit trees I should say not the actual fruits themselves but it's nice sitting here and hopefully they're filtering the air a bit for me so what I thought we'd do is cut this one open and see what it looks like inside this is actually one of the largest ones I've seen over here they're normally no bigger than a, a chicken egg, but this is quite a bit bigger so we'll cut it in half and see if the inside still looks okay I've left it to ripen for a few days on the uh, on the uh, kitchen worktop here as you can see the insides very interesting they're a lovely sort of uh, interesting looking color you can cut them crossways if you want to get a nice pattern on them but um, funny enough I'm, I'm thinking having eaten a few pineapple guavas recently it smells it smells a little bit almost like a pineapple guava, but there's something else in here. Um, it's not tomato. I'm not too sure what I'd describe the other smell as. Now, if you don't know, I mean, I don't consider tamarillos a, uh, a sweet, what I would call a sweet dessert fruit, although a lot of people do enjoy eating them. Uh, as a dessert fruit um, and mixed in with fruit salads but I actually find them they're quite savoury I think they have quite a savoury taste to them um, they're more of a I'd almost call it a fresh salad fruit rather than a fruit salad fruit if you get my uh, meaning so I think what I might do first is just see again I like to now I've got my new toy the uh, refractometer it's nice just to see if there's any sort of uh, what the sugar content is like it's not going to be easy to get juice out of these because they're not always as they're not particularly juicy I find them quite a dry fruit normally I don't know if we're going to get a reading out of this because it's not very uh, very hard to read Hmm. Yeah, it's too dry to get a reading on it. Don't know. Let's taste it and see what it tastes like. See if it's got that usual savoury, moorish taste to it. Yeah, tangy. Nice flavour on this one, actually. I'm not going to bother to save the seeds. Of this particular one because you'll probably be aware I've got loads of uh, loads of tamarillos growing which are probably for, of this variety dry around the edges but the fruit's quite nice in the middle now this would be interesting to see because I want to see what the colour's like of this one inside Mm, much harder, much, much harder. And a very light orange inside it. Mm. Now it seems to be a bit juicy now, the one, so we might be get a sugar reading on this one in a minute. We just pause the camera and go and clean the refractometer. 
Okay, so we've cleaned that off now. Now this one does appear to be a little bit juicier, so we might might be able to get a reading off it with enough juice on here. May or may not be better. Let's see if that's any good. Okay, perfectly clear reading on that. 10. That's a bricks of only 10, so that's a surprisingly low sugar content. I thought it might have been higher than that. Hopefully that won't reflect in the uh, flavour of the fruit. It'll be interesting if it see if it tastes anything like the other one. I'll decide whether to keep any seeds or not. Oh, that's much more... Um, Nowhere near as sweet. No, that's very, um, that's tangy, quite acidic. Kind of reminds me a bit of the Lulo that I had for the first time last year. It's not, uh, not sweet at all. Now it might be that it's a particularly unripe fruit, it seems much harder. I've got so many tamarillos to be honest, I don't think I'll bother keeping the seeds, I'm just going to eat, eat the whole fruit. But um, interesting. That I think would be better off sliced up and just put in a normal fruit salad. I think you could slice it like a tomato. It's quite tart on my um, tongue. It's not astringent. It's no, no astringency in it, but it's quite tart. It's almost like a citrus in its acidity. Um, as I say, I don't know if that's typical. It may well be that the fruit's not ripe, might have been picked too early, but it's a good sized fruit um, and a very interesting colour. But I think it, you know, you'd only be slicing up using it in a fruit salad just for something to add a little bit of texture and a uh, different appearance. So that's the, um, that's the orange fruited tamarillo. And this is the traditional fruited tamarillo. Um, Great to be able to try one of these for the first time ever. Not overwhelming, but still worth uh, videoing for anybody that might be interested. So, uh, again, thanks for watching the video. Much appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up. Um, you're welcome to share the video if you think anybody would like to see what one of these looks like. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Really appreciate it. And, of course, click on the bell if you'd like to get updates on new videos as they come out. I'll see you all soon, and I'll shave next time. Brett out for now.